everyone. All right, today we're working in Nature Mandalas um, by Mel Panini. I'm not going to say the last name because I can't. Um, and we're working on the B page. So this page here. Now, what I've gone and done is on the pa this page, let me show you my spare copy. These ones actually had um, some honeycombs that had the lines in them. I'm not a fan of that. So I actually went in, Not, I mean, nothing against her illustrations I just personally like it um, more solid so what I've gone in and I've done is added in let me give it a shake so you can see it a bit better over the, the honeycomb parts where the lines were I've gone in with my drawing ink my gold drawing ink um, it's just the EC brand and I've gone in with my uh, paintbrush and I've painted over I think two layers over the top of them and as you can see, it's given it like that beautiful gold shine. So it adds a bit of a difference to the page as well. Um, and yeah, covers up those lines. So gives it um, a flatter look rather than having the lines. But so that's my honeycomb corners that I've worked on so far. Um, today, I thought we can go in and do the top and the bottom with you guys. Um, possibly even go in, see how much I get done. But going into that middle section as well and have a look at doing them in there okay so the pencils that I'm using are my darker color which is burnt sienna then I've got let's bring you out hey okay so the darkest color is burnt sienna then I have green gold these are all polychromos then I've got dark chrome yellow dark cadmium yellow and then I've also got my Derwent Lightfast yellow ochre and the only reason I'm doing this one is because I want to try them out I'm thinking about buying a set um, and just wanted to feel how they were on the paper and things like that and have a little bit of a play <clears throat> all right so I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to show you how we do or how I do the um, honeycomb here so I'm going to zoom you in. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to show you what I do. So I take my darkest color, which is the burnt sienna, and I'm going to pick three sides to work on out of the six. So if, for example, I'm going in here, I'm going to pick this one, this one, and this one. So I would start by putting a little bit of pressure down in the middle. And then as I'm moving out, taking that pressure off to fade it out going into the next line again pressure down as I'm coming out fading it out taking off that pressure again going in the next line pressure down as I'm coming out taking that pressure off to fade it out right there's my dark section the next thing I do is I go in with the gold color so the green gold and I'm going to basically come back over the top of that dark and bring it out as another layer. So I'm going to start on the top of this layer. Again, pressure down as I'm moving out, taking it out, taking it off to create the next layer. Again, on top of this layer, pressure down, dragging it out. Again, pressure down as I come out, taking that pressure off, dragging that color out, fading that color out. Then I'm just going to go back over and where the lines meet over the dark, I'm just going to come back in and in my circle work and little lines, I'm going to start blending it in. Right. Now this space here, I'm coming in with my dark chrome yellow, so the darker of the yellows, <clears throat> and I'm going to fill in this space. So I'm going to start on this side and just work down into that empty the space that's in there. As I go, I'm just using circles around the edging to fade it into that gold green, green gold, whatever it's called. And there you have the center of your honeycomb piece. Now around the outside, what I like to do is go in with the lighter orange yellow. And where we have the lighter side, I'm gonna color with this lighter yellow orange in those three sides. So I'm coming in just on those three sides where it's lighter. On the darker side, I'm going to come in with my Derwent Light Fast Yellow Ochre, the cream colour, and I'm going to colour in those three sides. 
just to blend it through. I'll just come over slightly onto that yellow. And there you have one cute little honeycomb. All right, I'm gonna do the next one so you can watch again. This time, I'm gonna vary my three sides. So I'm not gonna pick the same three sides. I'm gonna do this time opposite. So I'm gonna come over on this side. All right, so I'm gonna come in, pressure down as I'm coming out, vary that pressure to give it a bit of a fade. Again, pressure down, moving out, lifting that pencil. Coming down here, pressure on as I'm moving out, taking that pressure off to fade it out. Right, come back in with your gold again over the top of that layer as I'm coming out, fading that pencil, fading it out, creating that next layer. As I go, I'm blending it with my little circles into that brown. All right, again, pressure down, fade it out, blend it with some circles in there if you need to. I like to, because I like it all to be nice and smooth. Right, again, going in with your darker orangey yellow, and filling in that space on the lighter side. Again, just little circles to blend it into that gold. Right. Again, on that lighter side, I'm coming in with my lighter orangey yellow, filling in that space, and then I'm going to come in with my cream. My husband and his friend are mowing the yard, so if you can hear that mower and whipper snipper going, I'm sorry, it's just the only time I'm going to be able to film this, so I'm kind of putting up with it. All right, so I'm coming in with that cream around that outside, blending it around. There you go two little honeycombs. I'm just going to pull you out a bit so you can see that. It's starting to look super cute and you can see it gives it that difference with when we're alternating the sides that we're colouring with that dark and that light it gives it a bit of interest. Alright so I'm going to keep going and I'll zoom you guys up but you can watch me um, finish off these lot here. So I'll zoom you back in.
So we finished the, that um, corner. Let me zoom back in so you can see. And it's looking good. All right, as you can see, we've finished. We've got our gold bits in there. I've alternated all the, the um, dark and the light, which is probably the most important thing to give you some interest and some contrast in there. Um, so as you're coloring, just remember to change those around um, to keep it some uh, with more interest. But yeah, hope that helps you guys being able to color those um, little sections. As I said, I need to come back in and do the middle, um, but I'm going to leave it there. I think that's enough to show you guys um, how I do it. Um, and yeah, just a quick little tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to see everyone's pages posted. I do look on Insta, um, so I'll look out for everyone's pages on there. Thanks guys, and I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.